right, it's time to get into a reaction video. And this time, we are going to be doing B.O.B. Earthquake. Now, I know I got changed up a little bit. You guys have been sending me a lot of strange music artists, a lot of Tech 9 songs, and I love Tech 9. And now y'all been throwing a joiner Lucas into the mix. And now I'm getting some King Lil G requests as well. So I'm going to keep mixing it up for you guys. Because, you know, I really want to react to a lot of different artists and a lot of different things, actually. So I think it's time we get ready to jump into B.O.B.'s Earthquake. Some of y'all may not know, but B.O.B. has these mixtapes out called Elements. I am not familiar with air and earth, but fire and water I am very, very familiar with. Uh, started like 2016 when I got up, when I, my ears heard a few songs and he is spitting some truth on those albums and I know a lot of people think he's crazy or whatever, whatever your, your opinion may be about him, but he is spitting some truth, like some hardcore truth. And he did it while being signed, which was actually kind of weird because I was kind of like, like, he must not have no record deal no more if he's like talking like this on, on his tracks. I'm like, he can't have no deal talking like this. This is stuff they don't even want. I mean, they don't want no one to hear this stuff. He actually still has a deal. Uh, one of my buddies, he actually does music. And he was like, yeah, he signed. He's still signed. But they let him do them mixtapes, too. I'm like, what? Okay. Maybe it's an independent label, you know? So let's get ready to dive on into B.O.B.'s Earthquake. And let's see what it's about. And, and here we go. Born in a competition with a feeling that something's missing. Bred in a corn addiction with a synthetic composition. On the brink of a civil war or the form of one religion. I wonder what came first, dinosaurs or Darwinism? <laughs> Pledging allegiance to a flag since elementary. True. Writing curses and curses and casting spells, stung by the spelling bee. And they say, congratulations, you graduated. From slavery to paid slavery, you actually made it. Here, take this gown and cap and wave it. Like a celebration of going to school just to get a job to pay for it. Like a nation that traded its minerals in exchange for paper payment. Mm -hmm. Here, these are your gods, you have to praise them. I wonder who we worship if we weren't captured and traded. Consider this my affidavit. Yeah, it's the ruling class here to rule your ass. Prescription drug, thug, cocaine, you your ass. Agricultural skills sure would suit your ass. But they say, living off the land is a useless past. Here, work for dead presidents. <laughs> Food your ass. Any revolutionaries, they remove your ass. Fast, click, clack. Whiplash from the kickback or the impact. Man, I hate to see that with Kennedy. As long as my head is intact, I'll be as political as I want because I get taxed. Now, nah, this ain't no fucking diss track. The diss track, a useless chit chat and syntax on whose ass is this fat and who has a six pack. Who's batting this average? Prepare his pass to his boy. It's a thousand sports channels. You can get this package or this package. Who's this savage? Hey, let's compare your emotional baggage to my emotional baggage to see who calls each other bitch fastest. Haters go out their way to fuck up my day. But I ain't even worried about your bitch asses. And it's quite the optic, hard to take your eyes off it. They Are make the sky toxic, prescribe the antibiotic. Make a high profit, divide the margin. You could die off it. If you do, they hide the autopsy. What the fuck are you supposed to do? More gallons in your kosher food. What the fuck is even kosher food? 
third generation crops won't produce. Sure won't. Be careful who you keep close to you. I'm from Atlanta, but shouts out to my Oakland crew. They say Bobby Ray, the older you is overdue. I say, hey, sorry, I got a little caught up exposing truths. I used to think, what would Hover do? Now I think, what the fuck will Macho Man and Hulk Hogan do? <laughs> now, if Steve Austin was America and The Rock was Afghanistan, then Russia and China would be Triple H and Illuminati would be Vince McMahon. Now, when the haters are the Undertaker, the crowd doesn't stand a chance when the international bankers are walking through the stands. Slide your ass from Zan. You think you a fan, but you really just a lamb. Niggas start trends every day, but don't ever get no pair of vans. What the fuck is in advance? Niggas live on color people time. What the fuck is in advance? <laughs> I don't fucking understand. I just want my fucking bands. I'm a walking, talking human conundrum like a Muslim going ham, looking for the promised land. False stories of Christopher Columbus holding Pocahontas. Super hand. false. Black history is the shortest month. I just hope you understand when the native Indians don't get shit, but Thanksgiving and some yams like here, here's a few casinos. Huh? Sorry we took all your land. I don't even want to talk about the well, natives. Let's just move on because America. I don't want to talk about what they did to them. Man, I fucking love it. Democratic or public lightning ride. Change the subject. All of these religions, I'm glad I found one. All of these beliefs, and mine's the right one. Trying to process all of this info you hide from. Till you wait the fuck up, I don't need your advice, son. Culture and religion condition your mind, hun. Whatever's prohibited, I'ma defy them. The smell of freedom is making my eyes run. To authority, I'm the antithesis. That's my I'm movie. Not a or a philanthropist. V for Vendetta. And I ain't got all the ancestors. I just got a louder mic and better stances, bitch. Oh, I'm sorry, did I offend you? What the fuck you think goes on at schools you send your kids to? What the fuck you think they serve for lunch with some menu? Food. That's my only ratchet shit is what these kids is into. A language comprehensible. Friends do what they friends do. People act so fucking hard, but really they just gentle. Psychological children, grown ups with issues. Grown ups with children who grow up with issues. Mm -hmm. Cancer tissues, abandonment, misuse. Subliminal marketing, screaming, here, let me fix you. I have the cure. I have the remedy. I am the savior. I am not the enemy. But give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your money. Everybody's in debt. But this is a free country. They the dock your pay. What a mockery. Why you Everybody on the clock? Well, you supposed to be doctor. free, though. They want cable. They want coffee. They want comedy. Anything to take their mind off being property. Trying to say it properly. Working on my tech, but I am the anomaly. They know I'm the shit like an heliocolonoscopy. They know I'm the shit by just looking at my discography. They know I've been sent to awaken this idiocracy. Mass media, hypocrisy, turn you to a worker bee. Harvest the honey tree. I'm just being honest, B. Mother Earth quakes underneath. Father Sky up above the sea. God the Father, the sky, Son of God, the Son, Amen um, Ra, the I. No more amen, no more folded hands, goodbye. Adios, au revoir. Benz. Earth. Where do I begin with what he. Where do I begin with what he said, man? They create these diseases to make I don't even know where to begin. For some most of the stuff he said, I can really, really agree with, man. You got parents with issues who never get their issues addressed. Well, you know, you have people with issues who never get their issues addressed become parents. So now their parents with issues, raising children, and then, they, and then the kids have issues. I mean, where, where to start? With what he said? I mean, he just said so. He said so much in this. This video was five minutes and nineteen seconds. He said so much in that amount of time. He said so much in that amount of time. I don't want to talk about politics. What he said in there was true. He said anytime you talk, talk about politics, it's like a lightning rod. People get so triggered over that, over something so stupid.
over something that divides us. Man. Man. I don't know, man. Y'all, I want to speak on it, but it, I don't even, I'm dumbfounded. I don't even know where to begin with this. Like, I really do not know where to begin with this. Like I said, I checked out his Fire and Water. I have those album, those uh, those mixtapes. I love them. I love them. So, I guess Air and Earth are the latest ones that he finished up. I'm gonna have to check out those two too. But finding a good mixtape place is kind of difficult online. I have no problem buying this type of knowledge in my in my music. No problem buying this type of knowledge. Man, he said, man, give me a second. He said some stuff, man. Okay, there we go. Congratulate, congratulations, you graduated from slavery to paid slavery. You actually made it. Here, take 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 this cap and gown and wave it like a celebration for getting a job to go to school to pay for it. I never went to college, okay? Parents couldn't afford it. And I was working since I was 15. And I wasn't going to be able to pay for it with what I, uh, what I made. And I didn't get no scholarships. I played sports, but small town. Very few people was getting, like, scholarships. And most of them were getting, like, scholarships to the college that was in town. Not, very, not a whole lot of people were getting scholarships to better schools. You know what I'm saying? So, once I got out, start working, I start coming across a lot of people who went to college and it was just like debt to them. Some finished, some didn't. But the thing I found most interesting about it was a lot of people who went said, you don't really know what you really want to study or do until you're like first two years there. So that means you're spending about two years, a year or two years wondering if you're even taking the right classes or the right courses or what you truly want to pursue. And I think that's one of the biggest issues with going straight from high school, straight to college. Because we change and our hearts change, our desires change. And when you say, well, this is what I want to do, you might change your mind on that. So then you spent two years studying for something that you truly don't want to do. Now it's either finish this out so I can get this job, so I can start paying the school off, or change course and start studying for something else. So that's kind of how school becomes this big debt system. And the fact that you got to get a job, and that's... That's all part of the rat race ordeal right there. So, man, he says so much in this. So much. Here, these are you guys, you have to praise them. Talking about the Klansmen with their so-called Christianity. Talking about the white men's it's for the white man or whatever. And the thing I never understood, I made a video better part of two years ago on my personal Facebook saying that if we understand the history of the Bible, okay, it comes from <laughs> it comes from a totally different region of the world, right? How did some European people some white dudes come over and say this book is a white man's book when it comes from a brown people. I mean, it comes from Israel. I mean, it comes from brown people. It don't come their book. The book that you have was never. It was not your original. 
I've never understood that about neo Nazis and racists, basically. Like, I never understood the whole racist thing. I never understood about a heritage. They talk about heritage. They talk about keeping their bloodlines clean or whatever, which I, if you love your race, that's fine. You see what I'm saying? If you love your race enough to hate another race, then you have a problem. But if you love your race, there's nothing wrong with loving your race. Like, period. There's nothing wrong with loving this, period. But if I'm loving this um, too much to where I'm going to start hating something that doesn't look like this, then you have a big problem. So that this is so-called Christianity teachings coming from Klansmen, which I made a video about that saying that I don't understand why churches, churches, like the church should handle issues dealing with their religion. And I don't understand why all these churches out here don't go after this so-called racism crap involving Christianity. I have never understood it. The big churches don't talk about it. The little church, I've never sat in a church and heard a pastor come out and be like, all right, we're going to talk about racism and racism within God's people. I've never heard it. This is someone who was raised in a church. Okay. Came out, was still going to church. I have never heard a pastor get up and talk about such a subject. Because I honestly believe, especially like, like being raised down south, it would offend too many people who are in that church who are racist. Don't get it twisted. Just because you're sitting in there and you are of a color don't mean you ain't got some racist people sitting in there with you. I believe that's why it's not talked about. They don't want to offend some people who might actually be racist. And to me, that's jacked up. You're not actually taking care of the house personally. If if you're trying to tiptoe around messages, you ain't taking care of the house of the, the house of the creator. So I can't get with that. It's something that needs to be addressed. It's something that needs to be preached on. It's something that needs to be taught on. And it needs to be made a big issue within many, many churches around this country so they can kill that crap and, and basically single this, single these people out, this whole Klansman crap. That's what needs to happen. Straight up. And the part when he said about work for dead presidents, ha, food your ass. I'm going to say one thing about that. I did some research like two months ago about how much the, cur the, the currency has changed in this nation and how they just change it like that. That's why that's funny. Here, work for dead presidents. Ha, food your ass. That right there makes a lot of sense because you have to think, at one point, there was greenbacks in this country. That stuff was forced upon everybody here. Then it switched over to the American dollar, and greenbacks were useless. If they switch the currency again, all the money that we try to work for, all this time we waste trying to get this cash, it'll be completely useless. Useless. But I'm going to get out of here. It's too much. Watch this video. Listen to this song. Tell me what you think about it down below. This was sick. I'm going to pr probably bring some more B.O.B. reactions out. And just try to find different artists who are just spitting some real stuff. All right. This is your boy, Josh here, all GBC React. And I'm going to be out of here with the Nixon.